Mpumalanga is Swazi for the place where the sun rises. The province in northeastern South Africa is home to the famous Kruger National Park. Almost 70% of it is used for agriculture. Lucas Maseko owns a farm here. After the 2002 land reform, Lucas went from being a farmhand to a landowner. Every day I loaded my truck with pumpkins to sell on the main road. People would stop and buy them. Four years ago, a new neighbour arrived, bringing with it a raft of problems. A decommissioned open-cast coal mine was reopened as part of South Africa's efforts to meet its growing energy needs. The ground is now rocked by daily explosions at the nearby mine. Noise is one problem, another is the dust cloud that hangs over Lucas's fields. It covers everything, humans, animals and crops, with a thick layer of coal. The farmhouse is no longer habitable. The shock waves have left it too unstable. Lucas shows us a massive crack in the wall. The visible damage isn't even the worst of it. The groundwater is contaminated by lead, nickel and other toxic heavy metals from the mines. There's hardly any water anymore. And what there is, is dirty. He's convinced that it's killing his livestock. He's lost half his cattle over the last four years. Terence McCarthy, geology professor at the University of Witwatersrand, confirms that the local groundwater is riddled with toxins. He predicts that millions of South Africans will soon be dealing with a contaminated water supply. The areas that, um, where most of the coal mining is taking place are our primary food producing regions and we are impacting on those. Moreover, coal is not only mined, but also burned here in Umpamalanga. Eleven huge, smoke-belching, coal-fired power plants darken the skies. Pollutants react with water molecules in the atmosphere to produce acid rain. Scientists fear that heavy metals from the coal industry will soon spread throughout the regional water cycle. So we are destroying the ecology of our river system and there's nothing we can do about it, except stop mining. But coal deposits are one of the Rainbow Nation's main resources. And right now, its fast-growing economy needs more energy than ever. South Africa ranks 12th on the list of the world's biggest greenhouse gas emitters. Coal-fired power plants produce 71% of the country's electricity. The country lags far behind the renewable energy targets established at the climate conference in Durban last year, even though the country gets plenty of wind and sunshine. But there is a solution to the contaminated water problem at least. South Africa now has its first mining treatment plant. Quite simply, any water is treatable. This is never too late. There's always something you can do about the situation. The mine operators are showing little willingness to invest. According to Africa's largest electricity provider, ESCOM, the country needs another 40 mines. So the question is, who pays for it? Lucas Maseko also wonders who is going to pay for the damage to his property. His farm has never had a power connection, like three and a half million other households in the country.